a forlorn, forgotten boulevard drive two comedians who produced more laughter than any others, yet whose greatness was not recognized until the twilight of their lives. In an editorial, the New York Times was to think of skinny Laurel playing against Fat Hardy as a bow plays against a fiddle, and to recall the gay, ingenious music. But that was after Oliver Hardy could no longer hear the applause. In 1929, Laurel and Hardy, portraying Christmas tree salesmen in sunny California, bumbled head-on into Jimmy Finlayson, a canny Scott comedian who looked eternally like he'd been weaned on a pickle. The result was a little film called Big Business, regarded today as one of the comedy classics of the silent screen. Big Business was made by some of the finest talents Hollywood has known. Its supervising director was Leo McCary, who went on to win an Academy Award for The Awful Truth, and two Academy Awards for writing and directing Going My Way. Its cameraman was two-time Academy Award winner George Stevens, later to direct such masterpieces as A Place in the Sun, Shane, Giant, and The Diary of Anne Frank. With the unalterable force of Greek tragedy, big business moves from misunderstanding to quarrel, to spat, to fight, to battle, to campaign, to war, to Armageddon. Its comedy is wild, yet so deep is its understanding of man's foolish ferocity, and so firm its contact with logic and reality, that it leaves the spectator with the uneasy feeling that not only could all this happen, it could happen to him. Comedy was king.